So we freaking did it, baby. We are on the Honda CB700 SC. Clutch is engaging and we're riding it. Let's see, if, if it doesn't turn here, I'm just gonna, I think go on a red light, probably. Ooh. Uh-oh, that didn't sound good. Did we just blow up the engine? Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to another video. Thanks for tuning in. So today we're gonna be rebuilding the clutch basket on my Honda CB700 SC. Hopefully this is gonna be the final thing to get this bike on the road. So let's get started, stay tuned, cheers. This from uh, what was it Barnett? Yeah, Barnett Tool and Engineering for all your clutch needs. Okay, got my springs. I hate packing peanuts so much; it makes such a mess. So we got our friction plates and our steel plates. Okay, let's so put these in the basket. And the oil, so they can soak. So you just alternate, friction plate, steel plate, all right, fingers crossed this does it. Got all the plates in. So now, need this guy. And there's a little push rod thing that you gotta make sure you line up along with the, the bolt holes or like the threaded parts. Okay, oh, I forgot my springs. There we go, those are the new springs. That. Oh my gosh, I thought for a second they shorted me a spring, but two were just stuck together. I was about to be very upset. Okay, then we've got our same bolts with the little washers. If you're feeling overwhelmed by a job like this, you just, you just gotta send her. It's, it's, it's all doable. So I just went and checked the manual and it doesn't give a torque setting, it just says tighten evenly. Okay, that's all we're doing. Another thing that I found funny is the manual says to take off the foot peg and the brake pedal, but clearly you don't need to. So we got the plates installed, the new springs, the whole clutch assembly, that's all good to go. I'm gonna just check the oil level and fill it up a little bit just to start it and see if we can get the clutch engaged before I change the oil because I'm just like too excited and I wanna test this out. So stay tuned, hopefully this works. Cheers. About halfway, okay, that's not so bad. All right, we're gonna just start this up and see what happens.
You guys, I think we did it. I just, I had it on the center stand as you saw and I just shifted through all the gears and everything engaged. But really it's gonna take it through the neighborhood and try to engage all the gears again. Uh, so I'll be right back and I'll keep you posted. Cheers. So we freaking did it, baby. We are on the Honda CB700 SC. Clutch is engaging and we're riding it. And it feels kind of surreal. So we replaced all the plates and the springs. Dude, this thing is fast. Oh my gosh. But uh, we fixed it, you guys. We, we're riding it. One thing I've also noticed is I've got a little bit of rattle. And my first thought was the cam chain. Like the valves needing adjusted. But it only happens when I'm in gear with the throttle. I've got a little bit of, of rattle. But, I, but it's not the engine. So I got to... I gotta figure out what the heck that is. I'll have to do some more research. If you guys happen to know what that could be, um, feel free to reach out uh, either like in the comments below or, or you can DM me either or. But hey, we got the bike riding. It's running and it's riding, but yeah, man, it needs so much work. Is this light really not gonna turn for me? Let's see, if, if it doesn't turn here, I'm just gonna, I think go on a red light probably. Uh oh, that didn't sound good. Uh oh. Did we just blow up the engine? Damn, bro. This engine might be totally clapped out. Okay, no holes in the case. <laughs> I don't think. I don't see any oil leaking. Alright, we're going to push this over here. Yeah, I don't see oil spewing out anywhere, which is really surprising since it's saying I lost oil pressure. Hmm, I have no idea why it's running smooth all of a sudden. Let's see if I can even get it into gear. Okay. Well, that is really freaking weird. We gotta figure out what the heck that rattle is. Cause yeah, basically it died right when I was pretty, maybe I just need to break the, the plates in more, I'm not sure, but when I went a, a little bit harder on the clutch, I like, you know, popped into second and let it grab a little more intensely and it just like died on me and then wouldn't start and I had lots of oil pressure. And, and I'm not totally sure what could have caused that. I know this, obviously this has an oil pump, but I don't really know what the clutch would have to do with that. So clearly I need to do a little bit more research. I'm gonna have to look at the manual too. And cause they have a bunch of like, there's like a whole section of troubleshooting, which if, yeah, if you, got, if you don't have a, uh, a repair manual for your bike, I'd highly advise it. And if you need one for this bike, I've got the PDF for it. So just let me know. We're gonna just baby this thing home, which thankfully is not far. But hey, <laughs> we're, there's progress at least. This bike is way more clapped out than I was led to believe, but that's okay. We still got a good deal on it. It just needs a lot of work and it's gonna be a fun learning process for me and you guys will hopefully learn some stuff and, and be entertained, but this bike will be restored to its former glory. It's just gonna take a little bit longer than I was expecting and that's okay. We made it back to the house. As you can see, it got a little sketchy. Um, we're gonna have to do a lot more diagnosis with this bike. That's just kind of the way it is. It's an older bike. I bought it from some dude. We're gonna have to just go through it all before I feel comfortable putting that back on the road. That's where we're at right now with the bike. We got the clutch to engage and work, so it is, we are making progress. It just feels kind of incremental, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video, which should be on this bike. And if I can build a bike, then so can you. Cheers.